space patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space, missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! Space Patrol! You will descend to the floor of the jungle beneath us. There you will seek out Corey and his friends. And if by some chance they should survive the dinosaur and the windstorm, you will stop them with your weapons. Hunt them down like wild animals. Every one of them, do you understand? I understand. Then go at once. Stand by for exciting action on The Trap on Planet X in just one moment. Planet X, the mysterious giant, 5,000 times the mass of Earth, locked in an orbit ominously encircling the entire solar system. From what dark corner of galactic space did it emerge to throw its black, menacing shadow over the peace-loving peoples of the system? What mysteries are hidden beneath its shroud of swirling mist? Who or what exists under this, its prehistoric surface? The only thing we know, Happy, is that some person or force is at work to conquer the United Planets, and that this person or force exists behind the walls of an ancient castle set on a rocky pinnacle rising thousands of feet above the surface of Planet X. We've got to locate that castle before we can do anything to stop the attack upon our solar system. But, Commander, didn't you order all spaceships to stay clear of Planet X? All but one. All but one, sir? One ship in a fixed orbit. <clears throat> right about here. It's Bobby and Tonga. We have an infrared phototape camera. By the time Planet X completes one rotation of its axis, we'll have a photographic reproduction of every square mile of its surface. We get closer to that planet. Maybe we could spot something. I'd like to know more about the planet before we get any closer. Well, the interplanetary distress signal. Well, where's it coming from? It couldn't be from another ship. Those ships are me away from this area. Well, it's not from another ship, Tonga. Well, then where is the distress signal coming from? From the surface of planet X. What? What does the distress signal usually mean? My God, no, it's, it's the planet X. We don't even know what's down there. It, it may be a trap. We can't help that. Space patrolmen have to answer a distress signal regardless of the circumstances. But, Robbie, this is different. The only difference, Tonga, is, is that we don't know what's down there. Somebody's in trouble. We can't turn our backs and run. We've got to help them. Of course, Robbie. You're right. I'm going to lock that view scope control. See if I can home in on the signal that way. See if we keep those cameras running. Right, Robert. Yes, Major. If you only knew where that distress signal was coming from, you would be even more reluctant to approach the surface of Planet X. But somewhere under its misty shroud, someone waits patiently as your fast battle cruiser speeds closer and closer to the trap that has been set for you. A trap conceived in the cunning mind of one who fancies himself the destined ruler of the solar system. The Black Falcon, Prince Baccarati. Your Highness, the ship. The ship that's photographing your planet. When can I open fire on it? Fellow, my friend. You are so impulsive. All you can think of is blum blowing something to bits or shooting your enemies, ending it quickly. 
Now I realize that your stock and trade is weapons and explosives, and that's why I allowed you to share my royal castle. I could make short work of that ship, Your Highness. And destroy my pleasure. Now. Ah, what a pity that you cannot find the pleasure that I do in watching our enemies approach their destruction slowly, as they shall. When their ship will hit the fourth barrier, I have thrown around this castle. It's a very ingenious trap, don't you think, Salvo? First, a distress signal to draw them to me. And then their ship will run into my fourth barrier. As soon as they hit the barrier, I can finish them off with one blast of my space rod. There you go again, wanting to destroy it quickly. No, my friend. We let them crash to the floor of the jungle. Let them feel their approaching gloom. Let them suffer. Yeah, but Excellency, what if they should escape alive? Ah, <laughs> escape! <laughs> escape, you say? Come, Paolo. Come. Come look at the jungle. See the jungle beneath us. Thousands of bees below this castle. And this area lies directly below my fourth barrier. And that's where their damage ship will fall. Leaving them to the mercy of my watchdog. Hundreds of tons of brute force. Capable of crushing the spaceship with a single blow. Escape! Oh, my friend. There is no escape from the clutches of the Black Falcon. Well, that's part of the castle, Commander. That's where the distress signal coming from, all right. It's dead ahead. Well, be careful, Robbie. Don't get too close. You hear that, sir? Yes, I don't like it. That distress signal is obviously a trap to throw you in. Well, that's what I thought. Stand off at a safe distance, Bobby. Don't go any closer. Yeah, but what if somebody is in the trap? We'll investigate that. Don't worry. But stand by until we get there. We're blasting off at once. Robbie, did you hear me? Please acknowledge. Sounded like a space phone went dead, sir. The report put out a sort of entangled scream. So did I, sir, but I was hoping I was wrong. Let's go. Well, where to, sir? The planet X. Yes, sir. You see, Salvo, their ship did crash. And that shall be the fate of all fools who seek to penetrate the stronghold of Prince Baccarati. They shall soon learn of the invincibility of the Black Falcon. I still think we should have blasted them. Salvo, my friend, twice I have spoken to you of your uncontrollable desire to bring the lives of our opponents to an abrupt end. Now, uh, I am a sensitive man. Do not force me to remind you of this eternal I may lose my temper! Come, Salvo. Let us watch our friends as they approach a slow but certain destruction.
going to find Major Robertson's ship. Well, I'm hoping we'll be spotted by the occupants of that castle. You mean you want them to see it? Maybe they'll send out the distress signal for us, too. It's the only way of locating the castle. Well, I guess you're right, Commander, but I still think I'd feel a lot better if they didn't know we were coming. Look, 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 This is excellent! Excellent! Another ship? No, not just another ship, Salvo. But a very special ship. Of all the people in the United Planets, fate could have not sent me one which I shall enjoy more. You mean it's a friend? A friend, you say? That ship is terrified. And in it is the man whose destruction I shall enjoy more than anything in the world. Commander Corey, and he is flying right into my trap. And now back to Space Patrol. <laughs> been right about here when Major Robertson's faithful set out and Congress scream. I wonder if this same thing will happen to us. Okay. Oh, Sir Corey, just a little bit closer. Closer! Come, Salvo! Watch him rend the barrier now. Now! Rockets, Commander. Hey, if something's gonna happen, I wish it'd hurry up and get over with. Commander! Commander, pull up! Pull up fast! That's Major Robertson! Bobby, where are you? I'm like where you'd have been if you'd have hit that barrier, sir. Down here on the floor of the jungle. Big trees helped our fall. The miracle we're both alive. Keep your transmitter on, Robbie. We'll come down and pick you up. No, don't come down here, sir. This place is teeming with dinosaurs. One of them squashed my ship like an egg. They'll do the same to you. You don't have a chance. We'll have the same chance you have. Stand by. We're landing. Corey out. Dinosaurs or no dinosaurs. It can't leave Robbie and Conga down there. Nope. I'm with you, Commander. Huh? I'm going to check the view scope. Return the way. Why? I could have blasted him easy. Silence, you fool! I must think. Must think. I have it. It was warned by the others. Yes. And now he's going to land and try to rescue them. He is landing! I must run! Rocket, rocket. Lower ship, lower ship. Uh, they shouldn't be far from here. Let's go get them. Yes, sir. It's going to be very simple. I shall send two metal spheres from the castle turret. Then, by radio control, I shall guide them over the area where Corey has landed. And then, I shall detonate 
one of the spheres. And the surrounding atmosphere, the air will be warmed up, will become very hot. Then I shall detonate the second sphere, and that shall cool its surrounding atmosphere. And then when the two masses of air, the hot and the cold, will come together, it will create such a violent windstorm that it will be even more beautiful than one of your explosions. farther away than we thought. Bobby, Bobby, do you read? Commander, stay back. Right if I want to go big dinosaur. I don't think he sees us yet. Sit tight, Bobby. If you have to see him, maybe he'll move on. my friend. Uh, you must be angry because I have slept you. Uh, you must, you must learn to forgive my little outbursts of temper. I didn't mean them. It's just that royal blood is so restless. You'll never hit me again. You dare to turn on Prince Baccarati? Now you are under the influence of the Z-Ray. And these are your instructions. From now on, you will do my every bidding. You have no power to resist. And you shall descend to the floor of the jungle beneath us. There you will seek out Commander Corey and his friends. And if by some chance they should survive the dinosaurs and the windstorms, you shall stop them with your weapons. Hunt them down like wild animals. Every one of them, do you understand? I understand. Then go at once. Down, sir. We'll be able to get out of here now. Okay, Robbie, we'll start off to meet you and give you a hand with Tonga. Corey out. Come on, let's get out of here before those lizards start getting curious again. Commander, but a little late. <laughs> In pretty bad shape, Matt. We'll have to get in the medical science center, sir. What do I do with this character, sir? Well, we can't leave him here, of course. Our luck holds out. We'll come back and get him. Right. Not a bad 
bad days for came, I've had two space patrol ships and all their passengers, including the great Commander Corey. What is keeping Salvo? Now, with Corey out of the way, Hey, just get it happy. Yeah, could you tell me anything about the condition of Major Robertson and Tonga? Well, well I, I just, I just want to know how they are. Well, I know they're very important people, and you can't even tell me. Oh, well. Oh, you say it's restricted information. Huh? Okay, thanks. Commander, were you at Medical Science Center? Just left there. Oh? I have some bad news for you, huh? Well, you mean we were too late, sir? I'm afraid so. Oh, you, you don't mean it, sir. You, I'm you sorry, Hank. We were just too late. Gee, it won't seem the same around here without Major Robertson and Tonga. Oh, they'll be back tomorrow. I know, but still, it seems like... Tomorrow? But I thought you said that, that we were... That, that I mean, that they... That we were too late. No, I meant we were too late to get any information out of the man who shot them. Oh. Somebody had to... Somebody had put him under a... Under some strange Jeez. power. His mind was a blank. So we don't know any more about Planet X than we did before. <laughs> What's the matter, huh? Hmm? Oh! Oh, nothing, nothing, sir. I'm just glad that uh, Major Robertson and Tonga are going to be all right. That's all. So am I, Hopper. So am I. <laughs> 